Morning guys, Chad here at the Hidden Spring Farm. Welcome to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Beautiful day here on the farm. I know it looks like there's some snow on the ground, but it's like five, six degrees, which is perfect for doing some work. Cold the past few days, we had some snow, but today, a lot of it melted last night and this morning. It's very foggy here, but uh, that's okay. We're gonna get some work done today on the farm. First things first is we're gonna go and check those ducks and look for some eggs. Yesterday, my wife got five eggs. Five eggs, folks. That's the most we've ever gotten in one day. Woo! And I'm gonna check those chickens. I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to clean out their they're bedding today. I wanted to give them a, a nice start to the winter and completely remove all their bedding, get it to the compost pile, and then give them fresh bedding. Another thing I want to start doing with the chickens is transitioning them over to a layer feed. My ducks already transitioned a while back and now they're given eggs. But these chickens, they're not all the same age. Some of them were born in July and some of them were born in August. So it is what it is. I'm just gonna transition them slowly. I think the layer feed just has a bit more calcium in it so that they can, they're can they able to produce eggs. You're not supposed to give young chickens too much calcium, but honestly, they're only about two weeks different. So those Rhode Island Reds, they're gonna get a little bit of calcium. You know, it's not the end of the world. What, uh, what I'm gonna do though is blend the layer feed with the grower feed and I'm gonna lessen it each day for about a week just to slowly transition them over to the layer feed rather than doing it just cold turkey boom all of a sudden you're getting calcium that might be holy did you hear those ducks folks the ducks are going wild over there thanks for tuning in let me get to work it's going to be a fun day here on the farm and uh thanks for subscribing to those who have already subscribed and people who are thinking about it don't think no more, just subscribe. You know, got big plans here on the farm in the next, I don't know, a couple of years at least, huge plans. I like doing everything myself. So that's why the plans take a little bit longer because I'm a do-it-yourself kind of guy. Thanks for tuning in and uh, let's get into it right now. Let's go. Got my cute little John Deere bucket to collect some eggs. Sometimes we get one egg and sometimes we get five eggs like yesterday, but I didn't even have my camera going. So I figure I better bring my little John Deere bucket in just in case I get five eggs again or more or less. We'll see. Hello ducks, it's just me. Don't get scared now. Don't get scared now. Found some eggs folks, look. See that? That's one egg. Maybe there's more in there. And there's a couple eggs there. Look. I don't see any in here. One. Two. Three. Looks like we got three eggs today, guys. Take a look. But before I just say final number three, I'm gonna take a good look out at the run because one time they just dropped it out in the run. Nope, no eggs in the run. So final number, three eggs. Yesterday we had five, but today we have three. Don't forget guys, they're still very young ducks i mean they've just started laying in the past week or so so i'm sure it takes them a little while you know as they continue to mature and plus it's winter you know they don't have the same amount of daylight i'm actually surprised that we're getting eggs at all but i won't complain it's awesome so let me go put these away go get my mule and then i can get them some water oh the fog is really setting in Go get the mule and uh, check those chickens. I'm gonna see if I can get my truck started so I can move it over there. And then uh, I'll start working on clearing out that uh, 
chicken barn. This fog's really setting in. Just gonna make my way down to my drive shed where the mule is and get it out and get going. Look at the look at the fog. It's really setting in. Foggy. It's getting foggy. Okay, duck tours are done. They got their layer feed in here. They got three buckets of water. They got a little bit of seed. And I just wanted to show you guys this muck mess. All this duck muck, it's gross. Look at it. So basically, this is gonna be a lot easier to maintain when it's not winter. Once I have water out here and I can have a hose, I can just hose it all down. It'll go into the, the party pool and then it'll just drain and it'll be a lot nicer. But the ducks have to put up with that because I have no way of cleaning it right now. I mean, I could throw a bucket of water on it, but that won't do nothing. But I'm sure ducks will survive. They're quite resilient. What I like to do is bring two buckets of water because I find that my three tubs of water here, it's, it's, it works out well with two buckets. You see these two? This one still has, I don't know, half a bucket in it. So I let them get in here. I let them swim around, jostle around, spill the water, clean out their nostrils, drink some, have a little bath in there. And then I come back a little bit later and I top up all the water. Sometimes if it's really nasty, I just change out the water. But uh, sometimes they don't swim in it, and it doesn't make that much of a mess. So I'm here in the chicken bar now. I'm gonna try to clean up as much of this bedding as I can. Hey, you you stay in here. You don't go anywhere. Look, I left the door open a crack and that Rhode Island Red's thinking about escaping. Look. They're wondering, hey guys, there's a whole new world out there. Get out of there. So, oh my God, what are those two doing? Look. I guess they're just wiggling their bodies down into the, the dusty stuff there to maybe, maybe clean themselves off. I don't know. Maybe they're getting ready to lay eggs. I don't particularly want to be breathing in all this poop dust. So I'm going to be wearing a, a mask so that I won't suck in all the poop dust. Watch out, chicken.
It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Okay, let's go and give these chickens some fresh bedding. That way they'll be set up for the winter, and then I can just follow the, uh, the deep bedding method throughout the winter, and then worry about removing and cleaning up next spring. Watch out, chickens. Watch out, we're coming in. Smells like fresh pine in here. That's good enough for a start. Give them some a fresh layer here. They can start pooping in this and it's nice and fresh. Look, they're already pecking and eating it. Hey, what's that sound? What are you guys doing? They need a little bit more food. I'm gonna mix it up with some layer feed uh, so that you can slowly transition them over to uh, feed with a bit more calcium. Okay, gonna see if I can get my truck started. It wouldn't start the other day, it's too cold. It might start right now, or I might need to charge the battery a little bit and give it a, give it a boost. Looks like I'm giving it a boost. Okay, that's done. One last thing for me to worry about. I think I'll take the battery out and put it on a trickle charger. Just give it a slow little charge every, like on an ongoing, just so that the battery doesn't get, you know, froze up. Okay, good. I think that's about it, folks. I'm gonna call it a day. I gotta, I gotta get Stormy to the vet. It's another, I think it's her third or fourth follow-up visit. So I'll tell you how that goes a little bit later on. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, and I appreciate you. Thanks. Hey, guys, I'm just here with Stormy. We She had her vet visit, and I'm allowed to take her off all her meds. She's doing so great. Her left eye's pretty well all cleared up. The ulcer's gone. There's still a little bit of scarring on the cornea, but he said she might always have that for the rest of her life. But she's doing great. Listen to her purring. I don't know if you can hear that, but she's doing great. She's a very cuddly little kitten. Everybody at the vet loves her. And uh, we're pretty happy that she's uh, she's pretty well made a recovery. She's a pretty amazing little kitty. She loves playing with Molly. She's got a little bit of a feistiness about her, you know? Oh, and then
and then uh, she's good. I think she's gonna really make a good uh, a good uh, mouser, a good barn cat, because uh, she's always you know going like, <laughs> she's always doing that to Molly's face, because Molly's always getting right in there like you know. But she's pretty funny. What are you doing, Stormy? Purring away. So, anyways, I just wanted to give you that update after the vet visit today that she's doing really good she's off her meds we're just going to keep feeding her and fatten her up she can't live in the barn yet obviously because she's too young and too small and it's it's too cold she's going to have to live in the in the house for a bit and then uh, as she gets a bit older we'll we'll be able to get her in the barn and then there's a special way you have to train cats to to understand that the barn is their house so we have a tack room in the barn and we're going to use that room for her which is where the chickens are but she's going to love it she's going to have a good life she's going to be fed properly she has so much land to roam around with there and uh i'm excited i'm looking forward to it look see look at her she's like getting right in there i can't even talk to you guys on youtube because she's getting right in there and you know that I'm allergic to cats. I am. I'm allergic to cats. I'm going to have to take a reactine after this. Or a Claritin. <laughs> You're putting your, your ears right in my mouth. Stormy. Stormy Eyes. Well, her eye's not that stormy anymore, but that's her name. Stormy. Stormy Eyes. Oh, my God. Look at her. Look at this kitten. Look at this kitten. And look at Molly. Molly's just waiting patiently. Look at her. But uh, Stormy actually just climbed up here, you know. She uh, she climbed up all the way from um, from my feet, all the, all the way up my pants. She's a little ninja cat. Anyways, she's pretty cool. I'm not even a cat person, but who can't love this kind of a kitty, eh? Look at this. She's mischievous. Anyways, gotta go. See you in the next episode.